one day my mom just came home randomly and was like, all you guys do is play video games, like go outside. And he's like, we don't have any money. What are we gonna do? So my mom gave us $60 and we went and bought skateboards. I lived in Jersey at that time. Then I moved back to the Bronx and that really like shaped skateboarding for me because you learn so fast in New York. People running around, people screaming, cars honking. I think that fast pace influences everything I do. I'm always thinking about what's next. A lot of people's downfall is they dwell on what they've already accomplished. The person who I am, I'm just like, all right, I did that. Like, how do I get to that next level? What's next? If I accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish in skateboarding, not saying I'm done with it, what other goals do I have? Skateboarding isn't my end goal. It's the first thing that people know me for, but it won't be the last. I always had the thoughts of like doing a restaurant one day. I happened to be driving by, I seen the for rent sign. And like I said, my mind is always on something else. So it came to fruition. If I think something's cool, I'm aware. That's just the New York in me. Like I grew up rocking fly gear and skateboarders just look good with whatever they kind of do. They just know how to make it look good for some reason. When Warby Parker said that, we're donating some money to a charity of my choice. I decided to give back to the Albert Einstein School in the Bronx. That's where I went to middle school when I was younger and it could hopefully help the school and you know, help the next kid accomplish this or something way better.